She was horrible. I know. But she will never be better. She's dead. What? John wanted to, um, the way he described it is pump the kids up. Next time, can you enter from stage right so he can yeah. see you? I sure can. Do you want me to He's do it like now? Coming. Why don't you? That'd be okay. great. Just so you remember. Yeah. When we decided to do this show last year, um, I had talked to a couple of friends of his that were still in Leroy, and I said, you know, I would love to be able to pick John's brain. So they got in touch with John, and then he got in touch with me, and he said he would be overjoyed to help us. He thought it was so cool that his old high school was doing the show, and he would be very happy to talk to me on the phone anytime I wanted, um, and even possibly come to the school and do a visit. It, it helped me a lot to build my character up. I wasn't really sure on how, how to go about being Frank Chaffee, but just knowing, because he was David Hyde Pierce's understudy uh, during the show, and just knowing that he knew how to play the role, and then when he came on stage and you know was interacting with us, it really helped me to develop, you know, mannerisms that I needed to do while performing and, and how to portray my character across to people. Why'd I take you? Why'd I walk you home? Why'd well, be the life? But you said we're not allowed to leave. Damn. Stage, there was three different kind of phases that I had to be in. There was one where I interacted with Nikki Harris where I was, you know, trying to, you know, Sweet. Sweet, talk, sweet talker, yeah, exactly. And then there was the one where I had to be the, the, you know, the lieutenant, and I really had to come across as a tough policeman. And and then you know there was just other parts where I was trying to critique the musical, you know, which wasn't really my job. So I was a little bit uneasy about saying some of the things. So I kind of had to switch my voices. And it's just, I mean, he helped me so much with this one scene that Andrew and I do together. And I mean, I probably wouldn't have done it the way that he showed us how to do it, but I really like it better that way. It's a scene between Andrew and I where we can't really talk about what it's about because it gives away <laughs> something really important in the show. So, But it's just kind of something that Andrew kind of gets me to say something I really don't want to say. And he kind of brought up the emotionality of the scenes. Why? Because, as old as time itself, there's a grand for the show. He didn't he, he played a couple other people's parts, so he had a lot a lot to say about them, but he at the same time he knew so much about all the characters that he could say your character's more like this and this and he was just he was really good with all of us. Don't be afraid to stand up for yourself. Okay. She's like scrapping and the audience loves Bam. They're okay. really gonna get behind you, but let them let them let them get to know you a little more. Okay. Shoot it put it out there a little bit more. Put out who Bambi is. Just a little bit more. Okay. Don't be afraid you're great really really funny and very natural the one thing that i'm definitely focusing on more now is the not having shifty feet and the shifty feet is when you're just kind of like wobbling back and forth when you're supposed to be in position so now every stride kind of has a purpose you know meaningful steps and you plant yourself and as opposed to swaying and you deliver your lines and before i wasn't you know i would go to people to talk to them but my character, he nailed it in my head, wouldn't go to people to talk to them. They would come to him. Lieutenant, you must need to say to me that I've just been informed that I have just in time to reinvent the show that Moses had to cross the Red Sea. He had God on his side. <laughs> Is this true? I'm getting reviewed tomorrow. Uh, Nick, go fetch back. I have no choice but to be blocked in the same boat, here and now. Oh, I'm going to have to watch this. Why? No, I just really like this summer. You're all really, really great. I thought the actor who played Daryl Grady needs to be replaced immediately. <laughs> Another thing that I thought was really important is he imparted to the kids, you know what, if you have a dream and there's something you enjoy doing, 
go for it. You never want to have regrets and say, gosh, I would have, wish I would have. And I thought John is the perfect example of what that's all about. Go for a dream. If it's something that excites you, if it's something that fills a need for you, you know, try it. You'll never regret the fact that you tried. Honor and a joy to be in.